Hey guys, Warthog71 here. Thanks for tuning into the channel. You want to see something really cool? Check this out. I picked up last night, kind of like a uh, uh, impulse buy because I went in for something else, actually a bog pod that they had on sale. And I saw this and I thought it was a different price. When I got up to the counter, I was like, way across the store. And I'm like, all right, I'll already take it. Um, it was more money than I thought it was. But I'm like, you know what? I could use this because I want to make better video content for shooting videos for you guys. When I can get out there, it's a whole nother story because I'm so busy here at the house. But when I can get there, I want to have good footage for you guys to see and authentic footage at that. Now, what did I get? I got the Coldwell Target camera. And it comes in this really, really cool case that's got like foam and all that stuff in it. It comes with a bipod. It comes with the whole camera system right here. It comes with the sending unit. Now, this particular one that I got right here, and then you wrap it all up in this case, and then you, I throw it in my cart because I have one of these uh, four-wheel carts that I put all my stuff in, and I drag it down, you know, I roll it down to wherever I'm shooting, and which is mostly bench rest shooting. What's really cool about this is that this, this goes on separate, and you can raise your bipod up and down. The bipod is, um, it's okay. I mean, it's a cheapo Chinese-made bipod. It's all Chinese, made in China, I'm sure. But uh, it's got the transmitter right here, and it's good for up to 400 yards, this one. So they make another one that's good for up to a mile. But um, I'm being realistic. Do I want to shoot out to a mile? Absolutely, I want to shoot out to a mile. Will I probably ever get a chance to shoot out to a mile? Probably not. So at least anytime soon. So here we have it. Uh, this is good up to 400 yards, and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna roll in a little bit of footage, and then I'm gonna come back. All right, so let's go down here and take a look. So this is where I set it up at. And if you can see, it's pretty dark out. So uh, it's got some like infrared stuff going on over here as well, which is actually pretty darn cool. Um, so it's seeing really, really well in some not so great light. Um, so these are my test shot over here. There's my second set of test shots right there. And then this right here, was from 30 yards away with um, with a little green dot, red, green, and blue dot that I used. And if you look at what I'm going to show you up here is that you're able to calculate your groupings on it as well with the software that comes with it. Now, I had some issues with the software uh, dealing with it on my phone, but when I was using it on an Android device, it was flawless and set up a little bit differently. But I will tell you, so far, I am super impressed. What you do with the software is first you set up your distance on whatever the known target is. So if I'm gonna set it up for one inch, you set up a one inch known distance. And then once you put a little X on each one of these dots right here, each one of these shots, it'll tell you down in the corner what your group size was. So that is really, really cool. And especially if you're downrange, uh, you know, up to 400 yards with this. Now I haven't taken it out at 400 yards, but we'll see. You know I mean? Uh, I'm a little skeptical that Wi-Fi will actually pick up that far, but we'll see how that works. You know, I mean, Wi-Fi is not really supposed to go all that far, but if there's nothing else out there on the range, I guess they know what they're doing, you know? So, uh, with the other ones, you normally have another transmitter that it transmits from that one all the way back to this one. So I don't understand how it's doing it with one transmitter and your cell phone. But we'll get to that, and we'll see if that works at the range next time we get out there. All right, so I'm back. That was a lot of fun. Did you see how cool it is? So what you do is you just set up your, whatever your, uh, you know, if you have, if you're doing one inch, two inch, three inches, whatever it is your, that your uh, uh, spaces, uh, uh, your scale is on the piece of paper that you're setting up. And we usually do it in one inch and it will automatically group 
you touch all your rounds and it'll group it for you and it'll tell you exactly what you have in your group, whether it's, you know, in this particular situation. I don't want to say I was just throwing rounds down on paper, but I kind of was, but still I was aiming, but I could have done better because I was only at 30 yards, but uh, it worked flawlessly. What you saw in the, in the uh, footage that I just rolled is don't even use that as clarity. You can't even compare that as clarity. Uh, it looks very, very clear on the device that I was looking at. And I would have not had, because I had to use this camera to look at that device right there. And uh, normally, if I was at the range, I would not I would just be using my, my phone. And I'd have my phone sitting in front of me. And that was the best part about the whole thing is I would take my shots. I wouldn't have to look through my scope to try to find out where it is. I could rest my eyes through my scope and I just glance down. I could see exactly where my shot is and I could go back to doing whatever it is that I'm doing. So that was a lot of fun. And especially if you're using a 3 to 9 scope and I don't shoot at high power. I'll shoot at, let's say, most, maybe 6X I'll shoot at no matter what it is. You know, even if I have, a, you know, a 24X or a 32X or whatever. I usually shoot at 6X at 100 yards. Move up there and I'll increase it a little bit. My point being is that I can't see the holes in the paper. And then I got to manipulate my scope and all. Keep my hands off my scope. I go ahead. I look at the screen. I can see where I'm at. And I can make my adjustments. It's also really great if you're shooting with a red dot. Because you really can't see out there. You can't see. Unless you're hitting steel, you can hear it. But if you're looking at paper and trying to see what, type you, what your groups are looking like on paper with a red or a green or a blue dot or whatever type of dot you're using, it really helps you to see if you're holding and you're breathing and everything is proper on that. When you get up to two, three, and four hundred yards, it becomes even more crucial, and you don't need anybody spotting for you. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. It's got all types of lights on here. It tells you it's charged. It holds six hours of battery life. If you buy the one mile one, it comes with two of these, so you got to charge them for a long time. And when you charge them for a long time, you'll uh, you'll get a nice six hour charge out of each one of them. And it comes with an extra port here. So that you can get and put another external source on it if you need more than six hours. But if you need more than six hours, there's a lot of shooting that, a lot of filming that you're doing right there. Other than that, it's all good. Practice proper firearm safety technique at all times. Charlie Mike, you'll be seeing more of this. It's a lot of fun. Charlie Mike. What you need to do is when you're at home, you go ahead with the charger right there. And you plug it in and you charge this right here. Now, this battery life will last for six hours. And you have all these little indicators. Sorry about that. You'll have all these little indicators on the transmitter. You have your power. You have your, uh, you know, your local area network, wide area network, and regular LAN right there. So um, I'm still learning about all this stuff, but it's got some really cool features. And that little orange thing right there that you see, when that turns green then you know that the battery pack in this monster right here is completely um is completely full you get six hours of recording out there and what's cool about the app is it'll actually turn this off you connect and disconnect so you only connect when you need it to be connected and then when you're down after you're done recording i disconnect it and then when i'm getting ready to record again although uh, i can no, you can't see what's going on down there. It doesn't go black on you. You just see the last picture. When you reconnect it again, then I go ahead and record it, and it shuts it down. So that's the cool part about it. So you save battery. So you're not actually, if you're sitting out there, let's say, for a couple of hours at the range, it's not going to be running for a couple of hours. Every time you disconnect it, it's going to shut this thing down. So that's very, very cool about it, and it's not going to draw the power from it. That I like a lot. The other thing is that... Um, you can also hook up an external battery source to this as well. There's another plug underneath over here where if you wanted to hook up an external battery source, if you needed more than six hours, you can do that as well. So that's something else to consider. But it is a pretty neat thing. I mean, I could braise this all the way up to here. I could lower it down to here. I could get it really, really low if I needed to. It all depends on where my target is. Now, once I have it on target, then I can manipulate... As long as I have it on the screen from here, then I can manipulate everything into my viewing on my particular device that I'm watching it with.